Okay, so you've heard a lot about PRP injections and PRP treatments. You may have watched my other videos going into clinical trial data on how it offers profound pain relief and functional improvements for many orthopedic conditions. But I'm here to tell you today that not all PRP is created equal. There are different PRP tube types and different preparations, and all of this will affect outcomes. Keep watching to learn more. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Peng here. Now, if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, my goal is to help each and every one of you live an active and healthy lifestyle. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel. The following is a clip from a recent talk that I gave to fellow physicians learning about platelet-rich plasma. This specific section discusses why PRP tube types matter. I framed the discussion around a recent clinical trial called the RESTORE trial. It was the first study in a long time in which the authors concluded that PRP did not improve symptoms related to knee arthritis. But we won't do that here because I, I really want to spend some time on talking about that not all types of PRP are the same, right? There's different types of PRP. Do you have a leukocyte-rich or a leukocyte-poor PRP? Do you have monocytes included in your sample? What is the platelet concentration? What is the method of injection? Um, and I kind of want to frame this discussion um, with this very recent study called the RESTORE trial. Uh, this was published in JAMA just a few months ago. And let me just read the conclusion first. Among patients with symptomatic mild to moderate radiographic knee arthritis, uh, intraarticular injection of PRP compared with injection of saline, so placebo, did not result in significant difference in symptoms or joint structure at 12 months. These findings do not support the use of PRP for the manage of uh, for the management of knee arthritis. And this was the first study in a while that showed that PRP injections actually did not uh, work and did not um, show improved symptoms when compared to placebo. But again, this is where the importance of not all PRP is the same. Platelet concentration varies, cell, con cell content varies, growth factor content varies. And the reason it matters is this is the... Um, this is the PRP they were using. And I circled the two most important things here. Their platelet concentration was 1.6x. Now this is actually from the manufacturer's website. Um, so you can kind of inference, well, if the manufacturer is reporting 1.6x platelets, chances are it's anywhere between one to 1.5. It's probably lower than that. And the same thing with monocytes. They essentially have no monocytes. And kind of earlier in the talk, we discussed why monocytes are so important. They um, help with long-term potentiation, right? Um, so platelet counts matter, right? Again, going back to that high blood pressure, you can't expect a low dose medication of, for example, a blood pressure medication to have the same effects of a higher dose medication. Um, and so this is probably why they got the conclusion that they did not find any significant difference between PRP and placebo at 12 months. However, this was their conclusion. They did not write this this part, which is their secondary outcomes. And so despite using PRP with lower platelet counts, this is their secondary, one of their secondary outcomes. The number of patients in the PRP group who reported global improvement overall was statistically significantly greater than in the placebo group at two months and 12 months, right? So even though they used a kind of lower platelet count, um, they still had benefits. And when you kind of look at it, well, those benefits are still better than the side effects of steroids. And chances are, which is what we're seeing with all these other studies, higher quality PRP and better platelet concentration likely leads to better outcomes. Um, so we can't just use the, the cheapest form of PRP, but even when they did use the cheapest form of PRP, their secondary outcomes were still better. People who got the PRP injections, their global improvement overall was still better. And if you're interested in watching the whole talk, click on this link next. Thanks for watching.